How to Eat Healthy and Cheap. My thanks to Ann Taylor for her article in Life Savvy, which was the inspiration for this video. You'll find her article at the link listed. Healthy meals can often feel unattainable when you're on a budget, especially with the current cost of groceries. While things like packaged vegan snacks and lean cuts of meat certainly are expensive, there are many ways that you can prepare healthy meals without breaking the bank. After all, a cheap diet doesn't have to be a bad diet. Here are some of our best tips to help you eat healthy on a budget with advice from registered dietitian nutritionist Francis Largeman Roth and registered dietitian Jen Scheinman. Use a shopping list. When you go to the grocery store with a set menu and grocery list, you're less likely to pick up unnecessary items that might drive your grocery bill up or spend money on takeout that is typically less healthy than cooking at home. By planning your meals in advance, you can stick to your list and avoid unnecessary purchases. Largeman Roth recommends doing a little meal and snack prep when you have the time, whether that's on the weekend or early in the morning. It's fine to leave a little wiggle room for a few meals to account for changes in your schedule. This can also help you avoid wasting food. Learning how to cook simple, healthy meals at home will usually be cheaper and healthier than eating out. You can control the ingredients and portion sizes, and you can also save money by buying ingredients in bulk to use multiple times. Eating healthy at home doesn't mean you're stuck with boring, tasteless meals. You can make healthier versions of your favorite restaurant dishes that are still cheaper than eating out. Even if every dinner isn't necessarily healthy, you know exactly what is going into your body. Buy in bulk. Purchasing items like grains, nuts, and dried fruits in bulk can save you money in the long run because you will often pay less per ounce than purchasing smaller amounts. Look for the bulk food section in your local grocery store or check out online retailers. Buying healthy food in bulk when you have the opportunity to do so can also be helpful for people who live in a food desert or don't have easy access to fresh healthy food, explains Scheinman. Costco and Sam's Club are two popular warehouse stores that sell items in bulk. These places can help you save a lot of money on many items, including healthy food and even appliances to help you make that food. Keep in mind that if you're only shopping for one or two people, buying in bulk might not actually help. You don't want to end up buying too much produce or fresh food at once and have it go bad before you can eat it. Buying in bulk is usually the most effective for families. Look for sales. Check the weekly ads and promotions at your local grocery store to find out which healthy foods are on sale. You can also take advantage of coupons and cashback offers to save even more money. When you find a sale on healthy foods that you use frequently, you can stock up and save money in the long run. Sales are also a great time to stock up on more expensive items, like fish or meat, to keep in your freezer, Scheinman said. Don't forget to look into store rewards programs. Many stores offer exclusive coupons and sales for members, and the programs are often free. Ask a cashier about any rewards programs on your next shopping trip. Stock up on affordable foods. There are many foods that are healthy and affordable if you know what to look for. Marjman Roth suggests stocking up on products like grains, pasta, and canned beans, which will last a long time in your pantry and can round out any meal. Largeman Roth also advises not to underestimate the importance of high-quality snacks that keep you full throughout the day. 
having tasty filling snacks that keep you full will help you from mindlessly snacking during the day and will save you money on those extra snacks. Buy frozen food. Frozen fruits and vegetables are often cheaper than fresh produce, and they are just as nutritious, says Largement Roth. They are also convenient since they can be stored for longer periods, reducing food waste. The average American household wastes about 250 pounds of food each year. That's a lot of money. Buying frozen food will help keep things fresh for longer and help you avoid throwing anything out. I love keeping frozen veggies stocked in my freezer, Scheinman agreed. This way there's no chance of them spoiling, and they are cut, prepped, and cooked, so all you need to do is reheat them. The same goes for frozen meat, including chicken, pork, and fish. As long as you're avoiding breaded meats, you can get essentially the same product in the frozen section as you can in the meat section for much cheaper. To thaw meat before cooking, simply place it in a covered bowl in your refrigerator overnight. Freeze your leftovers. Your freezer is one of your best resources when it comes to eating healthy on a budget. It can help reduce food waste as you can save and use many excess foods for future meals. This can help you save money by not having to throw away food that might go bad before you can use it up. Nearly everything can be frozen, like bread, tortillas, meat, and more, Largeman Roth explained. Make sure to store pantry items properly in airtight containers to maximize freshness. Additionally, freezing leftovers can be a time saver, as you can simply reheat them for a quick and easy meal later on, which can be especially helpful on busy weeknights when you don't have a lot of time to cook. Use cheaper protein sources. Protein is essential for a healthy diet, but it can be expensive. Some of the most expensive protein sources include red meat, seafood, and some cuts of poultry. However, there are plenty of cheaper protein sources that are just as nutritious, including lentils and canned fish like tuna and salmon. Plant-based protein sources like tofu and tempeh can also be a great way to get your protein while also incorporating more vegetarian meals into your diet and saving some money. Use generic brands. Using generic brands can help you eat cheap and healthy foods by reducing the cost of your grocery bill without sacrificing quality. Many generic brands offer the same quality and nutrition as their brand name counterparts, but at a lower cost. When shopping for generic brands, make sure to read the labels to ensure you're getting a product that meets your nutritional needs. However, in many cases, generic brands can offer a great value while still providing the nutrients you need to support a healthy diet. In conclusion, eating healthy on a budget is possible with a little planning and effort. By using these tips and tricks, you can save money while still maintaining a nutritious and balanced diet. Stay safe, stay secure, eat healthy, and stay on your budget. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye, and thanks for watching.